Now let us say that input signal is fixed and you cannot change it. That means A is fixed and FM is also fixed. But you have a liberty to change the sampling frequency of the delta modulator. In that case, we will write the same expression in some different form. I'll keep FS on one side. So FS greater than equal to, I'll send everything else on the other side. So this 2 pi into A into FM is in the numerator and this will be divided by the step size. So if my input frequency and input amplitude are constant, then to avoid slope overload, I should use the sampling frequency which is greater than equal to the right hand side value. Where FM is my input frequency, A is my input signal amplitude, delta is the step size. And you can see that the only way by which I can reduce the sampling frequency is by increasing the step size. If the step size of the delta modulator is fixed, then I have to use that higher sampling frequency which comes out to be a value greater than the right hand side. So this means if we want to avoid slope overload error in delta modulation, we'll have to either use increased sampling frequency. Now let's say for example, if sampling frequency cannot be increased, then I can impose condition on the step size. Step size should be greater than or equal to 2 pi A F M upon F S. To avoid slope overload, my step size has to be greater than or equal to the right hand side value. Now why we may not prefer this second design aspect because if I want to keep the large step size and have a constant sampling frequency then the problem is with large value of step size we will increase the granular noise also because the requirement for the less granular noise is that the step size should be very less very small. With fixed step size and that too of large value the granular noise will be very large even though we will be uh, able to reduce the slope overload error. Hence, uh, when it comes to designing a good delta modulator, there should not be any restriction in terms of step size. The step size which is used should be of small value to keep the granular noise minimum. So with the fixed step size, with fixed input frequency and fixed amplitude, we must use a sampling frequency which is greater than the right hand side. Now how delta modulation may not perform better than PCM is something we can understand from this expression. In PCM, we, not, we don't have anything called slope overload error. In, in PCM, the only restriction on sampling frequency is that sampling frequency has to be greater than or equal to twice FM. And this is as per the Nyquist sampling theorem. 